Hey everybody, this is Kevin Flurledge. I recently released a viz in Tableau Public called Buttons, and really all it is is 130 different custom buttons created by both Ken Flurledge and I, uh, all done in PowerPoint. And the intention really is to allow users to be able to download that PowerPoint uh, pr presentation and then customize these buttons for their own visualization. So you don't have to go through all the work um, to create these really sleek and uh, sleek buttons and, and have some really nice designs in your Tableau work. So I'm, today I'm going to show you how to create some custom buttons in PowerPoint and then I'm also going to show you how to use this template to, to modify the buttons for your own use. So let's jump into PowerPoint. So this is what the, the PowerPoint document is. It's just some shapes and you can kind of see if I select that. We've got different elements for those, those different buttons. But to start us off, let's just create a new slide and I'm going to show you how to create some, some custom buttons from scratch. Then we'll get to customizing them. So how I usually start is by inserting some shapes. So if we go to insert and we go to shapes, I usually try to use this rounded rectangle. We can drag this out and you'll see it's kind of hard to tell. There's actually an outline here and there is a fill shape. So um, what I want to first do is get rid of the fill color. I'm just going to make a really simple outline button. So we go to shape fill here under drawing tools format. We go to shape fill and we just change this to no fill. This will actually make the center transparent so it'll, it'll show through in, in your viz. So, um, so okay we have this outline. Um, I'm going to go to outline and I'm going to go to weight and I'm going to make it a little bit wider. And why well, I can also change the colors here, so let's just make it, I don't know, orange. Okay. Now we have this selected, it's a little bit hard to tell. There's a little yellow circle here. We can actually change uh, how rounded these quarters are just by dragging that. So if we do that, we can make it really rounded. We drag it out, we actually make it perfectly, um, you know, no rounded at all. But let's just make this perfectly rounded. And then what I typically do is just insert some text. You don't actually need to insert text, but I think it makes it a little bit easier. I'm going to center it up. Um, maybe we'll change that text color to be that same orange, even though it's not very pretty. And we'll say this, this is my button. If I could spell. All right make this a little bit larger and sometimes it doesn't quite center it up so I'll get it perfectly centered and now we have a really simple custom button in in PowerPoint so how you bring this into Tableau is you just select the whole thing now you have two different elements you have this this rec, uh, rounded rectangle and you have the text so you need to make sure you select everything and then you uh, right click on that you have to click on the little dotted line save as picture you can save it as a picture and then you can uh, bring it into tableau as a picture now one thing that happens sometimes is when you bring it into tableau as a button it sort of cuts off these edges i'm not really sure why that happens it's very inconsistent so one thing that sometimes you might have to do and you may have to do that in, in my template as well is draw this kind of small rectangle around it and uh, just like in tableau you can right click and you can choose the floating order so you can send this to the back and then what you could do is make this square or this rectangle perfectly transparent so you'll never see it so you change this to no color on the outline no color on the fill it's there when you select it you can see it's there um, but you won't be able to see it as transparent so what that'll do is give you some padding kind of around these edges and it won't cut them off so sometimes you do need to do that now what I like to do sometimes is have buttons uh, that you press and then when you press them, you know, maybe it's a na dashboard navigation button, you want the button um, that, you, um, that you clicked on to be kind of highlighted. So I'm really hating this color, so I'm going to change it just to a simple blue here and change my text to the same blue. Okay, that's much better. So now I'm going to select this. I'm going to just select the whole thing, control C, control V, and we're going to copy and paste. What I'm going to do is just kind of reverse this button to make it look like it's selected. So I'm going to select the whole thing, I'm going to go to format, and I'm going to change the shape fill to be the same color as that outline. Then I'm going to change the text, 
and I'm going to make it white, maybe an off-white. And now what we have is a unselected button and a selected button. Okay, so lots of things you can do with these buttons. You know what? I don't want. To, just want to select this rounded rectangle. Um, you can you know change the fills. You can change the outline. You can change the weight of the outline, how thick it is. You can change, um, you come here, you can change it to dashes. Okay. You can actually right click and hit format shape and come down here and you can change the line type. So you can change it to, you know, here's your dash. You can have these uh, compound types where you can have double lines. Um, so lots of different options here. You can change the size and the color and the transparency. And you have the same thing up here with your with your fills. Uh, you can change your fills up here as well. Um, undo that real quick. Same with the, your fills. If you go to your fills, you can change them to gradients, automatic gradients if you like. Okay. Now gradients are a little harder to work with. They have these different things here. You click on here, you can change the um, different sections, sort of like uh, in a color. Um, in a color palette on Tableau, you can change the, the, the ends of it. You can change these colors individually to help you control your gradient. So um, some simple stuff there with, with your gradient. The other thing you can do is shape effects. So um, you have a bunch of different presets. You can kind of make these rounded buttons or these beveled buttons. Um, you can make shadows, which I like to use a lot, a little faint drop shadow. Anytime you want to uh, format that, you can just do format shape and you can come down here uh, and format it. Or if you go to shape effects, shadow, and go to shadow options, you can change all this. You can make the shadow bigger or smaller or whatever you want. Okay. And you can change the transparency. Um, lots, of, lots of different options there on, on shadows and, and, and shape effects. I'll show you just a few more. You can do a glow, you can do reflections, um, you can soften the edges. I don't usually use that much. Beveled will, will allow you to make some sort of 3D looking buttons, so um, some neat effects there. Um, I don't really use the rotation, but maybe there's a use case. So some really simple presets for you to create some buttons. You can see we created a pretty slick looking button um, in, in very little time. So how to use this template? Well, it's pretty simple. I got a variety of buttons. They're all different. Um, they have different shapes or different shadows or, um, you know, some are beveled. You know, they're just totally different designs. And the intention is for you to be able to come in here, pick the one you like, change the colors, change an image, change the text, and you have a custom button that you can use. Um, pretty simple. You can um, also mix and match. So if you didn't want this little circle, use one of the check mark, you can sort of mix and match and, and move those around. But there's tons of different options here. We have rounded buttons, we have more um, rectangular buttons, we have 3D buttons, we have outline buttons, all kinds of gradients. We have a million different toggles and, and Ken Flurge did most of the toggles, so thanks Ken, appreciate that. So. <coughs> The, so how you use this is you just really you come in here and, and you can modify it. So let's just keep it simple and let's say we want to um, use this very simple button and we wanted to, we had a, a, a viz with, with blue in it. So all we'd have to do is select this, click format, change our shape fill to the blue we want, okay? Change our text to um, my button. And you could change, you know, if you don't like the font I'm using, you can certainly change uh, the font here. You may not even have that font installed. Um, and then um, you will, this is an, an image, so you'll want to bring in your own image. And then you have uh, your own little uh, button. I actually have, I think, a, a blue image here. It's close to, really close to that color, not perfect. Oh, I think I something wrong anyways um, so when you're done you can just select that save as picture blue blue button then we can go into tableau hopefully 
and we can uh, bring that image in as a button in Tableau. So we won't actually have to do, well, let's just do it real quick. Uh, here's my button viz. So then all we have to do is let's change this to floating real quick. And let's say it's a navigation button. This is a little big, so it's taking a little time to uh, just sit and bring it back to itself. Uh, blue button, and we got the check mark wrong, so ignore that for now. We bring in a blue check mark, obviously, just to, for consistency. And we now have a really slick looking button with almost no work right here in Tableau. Okay. So, a couple things that you should know. Um, some of these are really simple. This is, this is two different shapes. So this is a circle, this is a rounded rectangle, um, but some of them have some kind of things you should be aware of. I believe this one has some overlapping. So this is two rounded rectangles. Um, some of these down here, um, you know, these have these compound um, borders. Uh, so you wanna be aware of that. When you get down to uh, certain things like these buttons, there's a lot of different elements to these. Um, so if you, you have the text, get that out of the way, you have this rounded button, you have an outline that goes along with it that's actually also a gradient, then you have a circle, so you, and then you have an image, so there's lots of different pieces. So as, as for example, trying to modify this one is a little more challenging. So we may want to click on this and um, go to um, go to format shape and you see the gradient so you have this sort of light color run into this dark color so let's say we want to change this to green we can click on this color here and change it to like a, a light green and then we could change this to say maybe a dark green so now we have that gradient there and we can do the same thing here so let's pick this let's change it to a light green Pick this, change it to a dark green. Then we also have this this border around here. So here's your line. So we can change that as well. Now we, in this case, we want to maybe pick a slightly different green, maybe a little darker on one side, and a lot darker on the other. I don't know. Maybe that's close. Maybe darker here. And so now we have this. Uh, oops, I moved the title here. So now we have pretty much a green button. So it just takes some tweaking, a little bit of work, uh, if you're gonna use some of these more complex buttons. And you're gonna see the same thing down here in, in the toggles. So, um, so just keep in mind that some of them aren't quite as simple as others. So anyways, so that's really all there is to it. All you're going to do is, is pick your, uh, the button that you like, change the color, change the text, change the image, you don't want check marks for everything, maybe you want a download image or you want an info icon or, um, or a map or something like that, but you can change the image and, and then set, do a save as and uh, bring it in to Tableau as an image. And you can use that for navigation buttons, for collapsible containers. Um, if you, uh, you, in my viz, I'm using it just to take you to a URL to, to be able to download this PowerPoint template. So. That's all there is to it. If you have any questions, you're more than welcome to reach out to me at flurlidgek at gmail.com or on Twitter at flurlidgekev, K-E-V. And uh, uh, once again, Ken created Ken Flurlidge created a ton of these buttons. I really, really appreciate his help. I think he had a lot of fun doing it anyways. But uh, So thank you guys for your time, and I uh, hope they prove to be useful.